Hi, I am R.A. Bo Prudenti, candidate for the Austin City Council, Place 5. Our infrastructure is starting to show signs of weakness that if not addressed properly will surely get worse and what could be worse than a failing infrastructure. Especially when water, the most precious resource known for our existence, is in danger of depletion. Should Austin be considering an alternate source of fresh water? Absolutely! Corex, a Canadian for-profit corporation, has purchased numerous water sewage treatment facilities from the LCRA and another. Monarch Water, also a for-profit business, has already gained notoriety by announcing a 60% rate increase in water and a 30% increase for sewage in Pflugerville. This same company also stirred New Braunfels Water customers by announcing a 100 plus percent increase in their water rates. LCRA only regulates surface and underground water in Texas. The ocean is not regulated. That means that Austin customers could co-op ownership of this water and be free from all the hassles associated with leased water rights and by accomplishing this endeavor would separate us from being wrecked over the codes and future rate hikes that are, that are imminent as well as immune to the future water wars. What you going to do when the well runs dry? With the summer about to begin, Lake Travis is more than half empty. Don't you think it might be a good idea to explore the possibility of an alternate source of water? Lack of fresh drinking water is happening around the world due to drought and increase in population. El Paso, Texas has been out of water for many years, but fixed that problem early. It gets its water from New Mexico, but that water is brackish and is desalinated for consumption. El Paso has the largest inland water desalination plant in the United States. Yes, there are others. So, why hasn't Austin already explored that idea? Electricity. What you going to do when the lights go out? Austin prides itself on being a green city. If that is true, then why is there a shortage of electricity when that problem can be alleviated by placing two megawatt wind generators in strategic areas of town? The income from these generators would bypass the current source of energy producers and go straight to the Austin coffer. Affordability. Is there an economic attack on the middle, low, and fixed income bracket? Without a doubt. This growth has drawn an economic dividing line separating those that can afford to be in Austin and then those that can't. Was this attack planned to get rid of undesirables or just collateral damage? Regardless, it is an attack. Section 8 assistance requests have grown so much there is no longer a list to get on. It is too long. If an economically depressed person needs this type of assistance, then that person must watch for a notice when there is an opening. Gentrification of residential neighborhoods. Is there a problem? Yes, there sure is. I have two plans. A. When gentrification occurs, exempt all surrounding properties from property tax increases due to gentrification. This is, of course, with the majority decision of the neighborhood property owners or associations. B. When gentrification occurs, keep the improved property at the average property tax rate of the neighborhood and or limit the value of the property, including improvements, to the average property value of the neighborhood. This will not deny someone of buying and improving a property. This will inhibit a person doing real estate business for profit that affects the affordability of local residents. APD. There are questions related to the NDAA Section 1021, Urban Shield, and the possible connection to the fatal shootings of unarmed minorities. The public has a right to know about these terms and what it means to the future of the citizens of Austin. These are factual issues, not conspiracy theorists' rantings, and have been intentionally kept from public media reporting. There are other issues. However, we must work on getting Austin back on track with the most important items first. Are you in favor of my campaign? Vote R.A. Bo Prudenti for the Austin City Council, place 5 on May 12.